What's going on guys? My name is Mark Wagner and today we're going to be talking about an interesting topic. Uh, today we're going to be talking about whether AliExpress dropshipping is worth starting um, going into 2020 and really for the rest of 2019. Uh, so this is a question that I hear a lot because so many people are saying dropshipping is dying, dropshipping is dead, you know, it's saturated and you know, all these other things that we're going to talk about today and uh, really answer the question, is dropshipping worth starting anymore? So unfortunately, I can't just say yes or no and end the video right there because I think that it really depends on who you are and what you're looking for um, when you're deciding whether you should start dropshipping or not. I mean, there's plenty of other online businesses to get into um, and you should definitely consider those before diving into dropshipping. However, one thing that I do want to say is I think dropshipping is the easiest online business, really the easiest business in general for you to scale. Um, because you can literally go from making nothing to making hundreds of thousands of dollars within like one or two months um, if you have the right information and a couple of other factors going for you. There is very, very few businesses, if any, that you can do that with, especially with the low startup cost that Shopify dropshipping has. However, um, it's definitely getting harder to start Shopify dropshipping. Um, it's getting more saturated and you know, there's a, there's a lot of factors that are definitely making it harder than it was a couple years ago. Um, and I really think that that means like you need to make an actual commitment to e-commerce. Like it's no longer something uh, that you can just, you know, half ass and get by with. Like you really have to put like a lot, a lot of hours into it, especially when you're first starting out. I remember working like seven, eight, nine, ten hour days uh, when I was first building my stores and learning. I mean, granted, I still do that, but um, you know, you really, really have to do that when you're first starting out. Um, there's really no other way to phrase this. Like you have to be able to put in a ton of work, especially in the beginning or you're just not gonna succeed. Um, however, one of the good parts about e-commerce is it's kind of a, gra I've said this before, but it's kind of like, um, it starts out like with a ton, a ton of work, and then it gradually declines as you start to make sales um, and you start to kind of figure out what you're doing. It's also not really something that you can start off with 50 or 100 or $150 um, and expect to have a good chance to make something work. Granted, like, you can technically start off with that amount of money, but the amount of luck that you need to have to find like a good product your first time is, um, it's really, really, really unlikely. And unless you're like a super lucky person, uh, I would not recommend starting. I would personally recommend having at least $500 saved up for you to test products with you're gonna find that it goes really, really quickly when you're starting to run advertising and stuff like that, um, especially if you're doing Facebook ads. If you are doing Facebook ads, and honestly, I recommend having way more than $500. Dropshipping is definitely getting more saturated and that's definitely making it harder. However, one thing that I do wanna say is that e-commerce and dropshipping is easier to start than ever before. There is literally a surplus of information out there about dropshipping. Everyone and their mother has a YouTube channel and a course and like a whole personal brand built around giving you information about dropshipping. And with that being said, thank you for watching me because I realized that there's a hundred other YouTubers that you could be watching right now. However, that's really a good thing for you uh, because there's so much information out there and it wasn't always like that. So that's definitely a pro of starting dropshipping now. However, it's easy to get overwhelmed with all these people saying all these different things. Everyone has a different strategy and if you try to combine everyone's strategy into one, then it's just not gonna work out. I tried to do that when I was first starting out and um, it was definitely not a good experience. So I would recommend that you just find one to two really good, really informative YouTubers and uh, just binge watch all their content, take notes, and get their strategy down to a T. 
Um, because that's really where you're going to find success. You're not gonna find success if you just do it yourself and try to figure it out as you go. Um, because really these people that you're learning from, like they spent hundreds of thousands of dollars to test and to learn what works. And if you think that you know more than them, then you're probably wrong. I would also recommend that you get a mentor if your budget allows for it. I feel like a mentor just allows you to um, always have someone to ask questions to and then just having someone to guide you along the process would really, really help you. And um, that's something that I wish I could have afforded when I was first starting out. Okay, so one of the things that scares me the most going into 2020 is um, possibly the death of AliExpress dropshipping as we know it. Um, because it's extremely possible that um, e-packet and really all cheap shipping from China is obliterated, at least the United States. Um, I don't know if some of you know this, but e-packet actually costs the USPS way, 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 like they take a loss on every single package shipped by ePacket. Um, so that's something that could possibly and is on track uh, to get eliminated in 2020. And that's pretty scary, but there's definitely other routes that you can take with e-commerce. One of those being, um, you know, print on demand. That's something that's extremely easy to start up. There's very little startup costs and, um, you know, you, it's, incredibly easy really like it's easier than aliexpress as far as suppliers and stuff like that goes another route that you can take is high ticket drop shipping now this is not something that i'll recommend you start out like um with your first store but there's a lot of people doing high ticket drop shipping very very well right now um and they're using suppliers in the united states another route that you can take is finding u.s suppliers for low ticket products AliExpress actually has a filter where you can look at uh, suppliers that have US warehouses for certain products. And although there aren't a ton of products right now on there, um, it's very possible that there is a US supplier for a product that you're looking at selling. Personally, what I would recommend you do is start off with AliExpress dropshipping uh, just to get some experience in the industry and you know, experience dropshipping, advertising, stuff like that. Just get your feet wet and learn what you're doing. And then I would recommend that you move to a more sustainable route. Like for me, uh, my biggest store right now, like it started off as a dropshipping store and I'm slowly transitioning it into a long-term brand. That means I'm getting products shipped and wholesaled uh, from Alibaba and I'm getting them shipped to warehouses in the United States. Uh, that's basically just going to allow me to continue to keep selling uh, no matter what kind of stuff is going on. And it's also going to help me in the long term because I'm going to get a lot more repeat purchases and overall it's just going to make my brand a lot better. However, e-commerce is not for everyone. And like I was saying earlier, dropshipping is definitely not the only thing that you can do to work online. There's businesses like a social media marketing agency or selling on Amazon uh, that still give you the freedom of working online. They just have different pros and cons uh, compared to dropshipping. Like for example, social media marketing, uh, that's more geared towards people that can sell in person um, because it's a lot of face-to-face -face interactions, especially when you're first starting out. Um, and you know, you don't need to do that with e-commerce, but if you're good at it, then maybe start social media marketing or Amazon. That's an incredibly lucrative um, industry right now. However, it takes a lot more money to start than dropshipping does. Maybe if you have really good people skills, like I was saying with social media marketing, then you could pitch businesses on putting ATMs in their stores. I know a couple people that are doing insanely well with that. The moral of the story is there's a hundred different businesses out there, affiliate marketing, ATMs, uh, starting a YouTube channel. I mean, that, that's just a couple plus the ones that I just named. Um, but it, it's really geared on what you like, what your strengths are as a person and really what you would enjoy. Like if e-commerce doesn't interest you, if you're not like passionate about it, and if you can't see yourself enjoying it like every day going to work, then don't start it because you're just not going to succeed. You really got to enjoy what you do um, and you got to be at least a little bit passionate about it. 
However, you do need to have a budget and you do need to be creative and you need to set yourself apart. And you can't just be one of these people that hop in with a general store and test two products with Instagram influencers and quit because they didn't get any sales. Like that's just not how it works anymore. It is not easy. It takes a lot of time and a lot of effort. And if you understand that and you accept that and you're willing to invest that time and that money um, into being successful and you don't give up, then it's incredibly unlikely that you're unsuccessful drop shipping. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I felt like I needed to make it because I hear so many people say that drop shipping is dead or it's saturated, which it is. But um, the fact that like people say it's not worth starting anymore is just frankly untrue. Um, and while it's not as easy as it used to be, it's still incredibly like it's possible and it's very, very lucrative at that. So do your research before going into it and make sure that it's something that you would want to do, um, you know, every day for six, seven, eight, nine, ten hours and be ready to invest that amount of time. And, you know, it's very, very possible that you're going to make it. By the way, I am going to be releasing an interview next week with the student that I mentioned who did over $100,000 in about two months. So stay tuned for that. On your way out, don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button below, and I'll see you in the next one.